Be sure to subscribe to our channel. We publish new videos every day. Don't forget, grab your smartphone and download the Lava Matra app and stay in touch. Guru Maharaj's message is your advantage. The following is a Sri Krishna Chaitanya book compilation given by His Holiness Jaya Pataka Swami Maharaj on September 18th, 2020 in Sri Damayapur, India. <laughs> Sri Chaitanya Isham Hare Om Tat Sat Aki Hare 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 Oki Are Re Are Hare Nabodipe Purveshite Achar Josh Kor Nayane Galae Jalodhara Nirantar Acha Chandra Shekhar Acharya entered Navadip. Chandra Shekhar Acharya entered Navadvip. A flooding rivers of tears. Flowed from his eyes continuously. F- flooding rivers of tears flowed from his eyes continuously. Nobody was Jato Tahare de Kia. Antare Parae Pran Dhag Dhag Hiya Residence of uh, Navadip Residence of Navadip Whoever saw him Whoever saw him Felt their in their Live airs in their heart felt burning. That, felt that their life airs in their hearts were burning. Their hearts trembled. Their hearts trembled. Talk, talk. Sokola Vaishnava Ashi Mishila Shekhane Shambharite nare osu katar vayane All the Vaishnavas came and gathered around him. All the Vaishnavas came and gathered around him. They could not control their crying. They could not Control their crying. Their faces are withered with grief. Their faces were withered with grief. Puchite na pare kichu mukhe nahi rae. Shuni shuchi devi audor chule dhaye. They couldn't ask anything. They couldn't ask anything. Nothing came to their mouth. Nothing came from their mouth. When Sachi Devi heard that Chandra Shekhar had come. When Sachi Devi heard that Chandra Shekhar had come. Even though her hair was dishevelled. 
Even though her hair was disheveled, she ran there. She ran there. Chaitanya Chandrodaya Nataka. Everyone were eagerly approaching. Said, Acharya, tell us, tell us, where is the Lord? Acharya Ratna replied, Ah, what can this wretch say? Advaita said, tell us what happened. Acharya Ratna in his ear, in such a manner? Advaita, how can this news be covered by the hand? Speak it directly, let everyone hear it. Acharya Ratna with tears calling out loudly said, Alas, your indescribable jubilant singing and dancing in Kirtana has come to an end. Your sweet, affectionate smiles and words are in, in our hearts. Alas, alas, your love and mercy remain in our memories. O oh Lord, your acceptance of sannyas is complete ru ruin of us. Acharya Aratna was expressing the mood of the devotees in Navadvip. Acharya Ratna was expressing the mood of the devotees in Navadvip. Since the Lord had left Navadvip, since the Lord had left Navadvip, he was engaging in the jubilant sankirtan. He was engaging in the jubilant Sankirtan along with all his associates. Along with all his all of his associates. So when he left, so when he left, they all put into great separation. They are all put into great separation. Hearing this, everyone becomes overwhelmed. Ganga Dasa says, Acharya Ratna, the Lord's mother asks, please tell me the good news of my auspicious Lord. Acharya Ratna stands still with throat choked with tears. Advaita, in my name, Advaita says, in my name, please tell her this. Tell her this, the three mothers, Kausalya, Yashoda and Sachi, must tolerate these three, Ramachandra's residence in the forest, Krishna's departure to Mathura and Chaitanya's accepting Sanya's Danda. Sorry, mothers of Ram, Krishna and Chaitanya. So the mothers of Ram, Krishna and Chaitanya had to accept separation from their son. Has to had to accept separation from their son. In the ways stated. In the ways stated. Ganga Dasa said, even she had also previously guessed this about Chaitanya's sannyas. She also said, Why do you hide the truth? He, Chaitanya, indeed has followed the path of his elder brother, accepting sannyas danda, great, great transcendental personalities are equal in both harshness and mercifulness. Mother Sachi is lamenting. Mother Sachi is lamenting. Advaita says, The mother is calm and patient like this. Otherwise, how can she have a son like him? He reflects for a moment. In his later pastimes, he accepts the sannyas order and he is equipoised 
and peaceful and he is the highest abode of peace and devotion for for he silences the impersonalist non devotees okay the um, lord uh, not oh. note this is a verse from the mahabharata dana dharma vishnu sahasra nama stotra as translated by prabhupada in chaitanya charitamrita adi leela chapter 3 text number 49 the lord has now fulfilled these words of the vishnu sahasra nama prayers chaitanya chandrodaya natak only in lord vishwambar the mahavakya has become suitable in the primary primary meaning in him there are no secondary symptoms of jahat and ajahat note jahat swartha losing the original meaning its original meaning and ajahat swahartha swartha is a rhetorical figure using a word which involves the meaning of another word previously acharya ratna please tell us the story from the beginning acharya ratna says alas i am alive only for this purpose when the night ended and the dancing was over he took my hand we walked a few steps he saw lord nityananda in front and said to him you also come together we crossed ganga and then continued walking i said lord please tell me where are we going alone he ignored me and remained remained silent he walked we followed his steps and he eventually entered the village name katwa where he approached keshava bharati the leader of the sanyasis at that moment both nityananda and i thought within our heart the lord desires to take sanyas despite thinking like this the lord's potency then overwhelmed us and we were not able to say anything to him on on the next day he said acharya ratna now you make the preparation for this karma sanyasa i said what is that karma then he told me i have to do this karma bracket take sanyas following that i did not know what to do and like a dumb could not answer but began to cry after that all the activities were automatically made in the right way words are unable to describe what happened then so sana shaka shaya the sign or how on his point of view so chandra shekra acharya is ha- is explaining what happened from his point of view that is interesting to see how the body is it's very interesting to see how a devotee compelled by the lord's potency compelled by the lord's potency to act in a particular way to act in a particular way everyone as they listened and became full of grief they said with grief a <coughs> lord how has this commenced or else this is the ripened fruit of the tree of the tree of suffering that has manifested how can we blame the lord alas alas <coughs> when this enters our memory it cuts bracket causes grief in our hearts oh acharya ratna how did you see all this they became dejected 
Atvaita asked, What name did the Lord accept in the Sanyas Ashrama? Acharya Ratna Shri Krishna Chaitanya Acharya Ratna said, Shri Krishna Chaitanya. I don't know why I didn't call it. It's not Shri Krishna yeah. Chaitanya. Yeah. Yeah. Advaita, filled with wonder, said, This bracket name indeed is well suited. Lord Krishna's form is the form of Lord Chaitanya and therefore he is called Krishna Chaitanya. Thus, this name is the ripened fruit of the Mahavakya's true meaning. Advaita Chaya is Shang has realization that the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya is most appropriate. Advaita Acharya is sharing his realization that the name Sri Krishna Chaitanya is the most appropriate for Lord Chaitanya. For Lord Chaitanya. For Lord Gauranga. For Lord Gauranga. Keshava Bharati is Shruti. Because of being Bharati of Keshava, Keshava is bracket, Keshava is Krishna and Bharati is word and thus the words of Krishna is Shruti. For instance, Srimad Bhagavatam 11.14.3 Lord Krishna to Uddhava says, When the subsequent creation took place, I spoke the Vedic knowledge to Brahma because I myself am the religious principle enunciated in the Vedas. And, end of quote. Therefore, the explanation of Keshava Bharati is to be explained or propounded by the Shruti. So, the hidden meaning of Keshava Bharati name is. So, the hidden meaning of Keshava Bharati's name is being given by Advaita Acharya was given by Advaita Acharya Acharya Ratna tell us if the Lord is there or in some other place Acharya Ratna replied at that very moment, after accepting Sanya's dress, the Lord set out. Advaita, did he not say anything to us? Acharya Ratna said, he was blinded with love of Krishna and thus repeatedly stumbled as he walked. His chest was bathed in tears. He was not aware even of his own self. And so, what could he say to me? Advaita Acharya said, How is that you did not follow him? Acharya Ratna said, Lord Nityananda said, I will follow the Lord by skillfully making him wander from the pathway from pathway to pathway. By some means I lead him to Advaita's home. You go and bring this news to the distressed devotee hated by Advaita and make them happy. <laughs> Advaita said, You are fortunate. Oh, Lord Nityananda Dev, you are fortunate. I have been conquered by your sincere well wishes. Let So let's go and give this news to Goddess Sachi Devi and by comforting her then we will also do what ought to be done. So Lord Nityananda sent his confidential message. So Lord Nityananda has sent his confidential message. 
not here, it's somehow another ring Lord Chaitanya to Daita's house in Shantipur. That he would somehow or other would bring Lord Chait- Chaitanya to Advaita's house in Shantipur. So this has given all the devotees great hope. So this, this had given all the devotees great hope. Murari Gupta Karcha 3.3.11 Then Gorahari was pacified by the Avaduta Nityananda, bracket Nityananda, who spoke to him news of Vrindaranya. Oh, what marvelous news that was! And while proceeding on the path filled with the great and munificent desires of pure devotion, he gave me some instructions. Murari Gupta Karcha The Lord of Lakshmi told me bracket Acharya Ratna you depart for Navadvip and then when affl- afflicted by grief and lamentation I redite readied myself to leave The Lord further said you must deliver this message of mine in the assembly of the devotees Namo Narayana, which will bring me joy. Having heard all of the word of Hari, I stood there having given up my, given up my life for Gauranga's sake. Though it is a transcendental subject matter, still I understood the very astonishing activities of Sri Gaur Chandra to be confidential in that his external state was merely a reflection of his inner trance. With a flat, faltering voice, the Lord uttered the auspicious name of Krishna. Our Lord Chaitanya was in an ecstatic love of Krishna. And those chants. So, Lord Chaitanya was in ecstatic love of Krishna and loose. And he was chanting the holy name of Krishna. He was in trance and he was chanting the holy names of Krishna. So, Acharya Ratna was sent back to Navadip. And Acharya Ratna was sent back to Navadvip. And Lord Nityananda said, somehow or another he will bring. Lord Chaitanya to Shantipur. And Lord Nityananda said somehow or rather that he would bring Lord Chaitanya to Shantipur. So, Sri Gaurachandra activities are very confidential. So, Sri Gaurachandra's activities are very confidential. And in his ecstatic mood, he is not aware of the external world. So in his ecstatic mood, he was not aware of the external world. And then Lord Nityananda knowing this. Lord Nityananda knowing this. He is thinking that somehow or another he will be able to bring Lord Chaitanya to Shantipur. So he is thinking that somehow or other we, he would be able to bring Lord Chaitanya to Shantipur. Haribol. At the at times he would laugh, at times his voice become choked, and sometimes he would tremble or sing, at times he would weep or wander here and there, and at times he would fall down and sleep upon the earth. Lord Chaitanya was in this uh, ecstatic mood. Lord Chaitanya was in this ecstatic mood of pure love for Krishna. Of pure love of Krishna. At times he would taste the moods of a gopi, or at other times the moods of of a servant of the Lord, and sometimes the moods of the supreme Lord Himself. Through these moods. The self-sufficient and self-satisfied Lord taught his people lessons. 
Lord's purposes to teach by his own example. The Lord's purpose is to teach by his own example. The bhakti yoga process. The bhakti yoga process. Until the third day, Gaurahari continuously lost remembrance of his body. At that, I became very anxious and disturbed and I worried. Quote, what should I do now? Unquote. For three days, Lord Chaitanya had eaten. So, for three days, Lord Chaitanya haven't eaten. Chandrasekhar Acharya. He was very concerned what to do. Chandrasekhar Acharya, he was very concerned what to do. On the following day, Madhusudana, bracket, Lord Chaitanya remembered his body, bracket, regained consciousness of his external body. Then, I took permission from that guru of all renunciant and returned to my home. Acharya Ratna continued, On the day after tomorrow, Sri Krishna Chaitanya will come to the house of the Advaita Acharya. At that time, your good self shall have his darshan. This is certain. Thus, did I see and hear the auspicious chanting, auspicious chanting, and other pastimes performed by Sri Hari, the Supreme Personality of Godhead. I have described in full this most auspicious quality of Sri of Hari, which awards all happiness to mankind. Lord Hari has descended on a spiritual world. Lord Gora Hari descended from the spiritual world. To deliver all the fallen souls. To deliver all the fallen souls. And so he is absorbed in the mood of love for Krishna. So he is absorbed in the mood of love for Krishna. And uh, in that mood he is traveling the earth. So in that mood he is traveling on the earth. One of the things recommended in the Purushottam month. One of the things recommended during the Purushottam month is to hear the past times of the Lord. Is to hear the past times of the Lord. So we are hearing the past times of Lord Gaurahari. So we are hearing the past times of Lord Gaurahari. And that can purify our consciousness. And that will purify our consciousness. By having his association. By having his association. By hearing his incomparable transcendental pastimes. By hearing his incomparable transcendental pastimes. So the, the people who are registered in the Purushottamvan.com. Uh, so the people who have registered registered in the purushottammanth.com for 88 the number of submitted round is 824 number of book uh, uh, hours of book reading is 137.1 uh, hours of lecture hearing is 121.65 number of aratis or number of ghee lamps 222 and number of uh, hours of Krishna Katha hearing is 108.75. What are the students teaching? Classes and uh, Krishna Katha. Oh, please uh, register in the. Uh, so please <sighs> register in the purushottammanth.com. On YouTube. You can still see it on YouTube. 
I had a recording of the of the worship. We will have the recording of the worship. Gurma is speaking about the Shri Shri Radha Madhava with 16 Upacharas worship. worship. That they are doing this particularly so the devotees can see it. They are doing this in particular so that the devotees can see it. So we, we chant that one mantra recommended by Bhakti uh, Nathaka. Govar dhanam dharam vande gopalam goparupinam gokulotsavam ishanam govindam gopika priyam. Over Dana, the Ram Vande, 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 Gopalam. Gopalam 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 do you like our ad free videos be sure to subscribe to our channel we publish new videos every day and don't forget to like and share our channel